Hello everybody, hello and welcome to my channel. I appreciate it, it's Matt. And I'm just gonna do a quick short video for you today in celebration of what would have been George Harrison's 77th birthday. I didn't know how I was gonna pay tribute to George today. I knew I would do something. So I just wanna do a little quick video, something you might enjoy. I'm going to show my favorite George Harrison albums. I'm not gonna rank them or anything like that. I'm just gonna show my favorites. And I'm basically gonna do it in the order uh, of their release from the earliest to the most recent. Now, by my count, George released 10 studio albums and I'm not including live stuff or compilations. So out of those 10 studio albums, I wanna say I think I have about six in this pile, six that I truly love. And that's all I'm gonna say about that. The other four, I don't hate any George albums, but they're not in my pile of favorites. Let me put it that way. So if there's an album you don't see, <laughs> it probably means because it's not one of my favorite George Harrison albums. But anyway, let's, let's not focus on that stuff, the negatives. Let's focus on the joy, the wonderful music George did bring to us and celebrate his birthday in, in whatever way we can. And this is my little way of doing it. Just a quick short video for you to say thank you, George. Thank you for the wonderful music as part of the Beatles, your solo music. We love it. We cherish it to this day. And let's celebrate his birthday. So without further ado, this is my first one I want to show you. All Things Must Pass. All right. Need I say more about this album, folks? No, I don't need to. It's a classic. I'm sure we all love it. I'm sure we all have this in our pile of favorites. It's a wonderful album. It, it's, you know, arguably George's greatest triumph. Okay. I won't know if I want to say it's my number one, but it's right up there. And um, boy, it doesn't get much better than this, folks. All things must pass. My second of my grouping of favorite George Harrison albums is Living in the Material World. Love this album. I, I like to say this is his most spiritual album, uh, if you want to look at it that way. Um, it's, it, it's a departure from all, all Things Must Pass, and it's quite different from the one that followed this, which was Dark Horse. It, it's a very special album. It's a very unique album, but... It's a very soothing and pleasing album to listen to. And a lot of the messages on it, the positive messages on it, the spirituality on it, sit very well with me. I love it. So, living in the material world. My next favorite George Harrison album is this one, 33 and a Third. Wow, when this came out, 1976, Oh, let me say, Living in the Material World, as you all know, 73. 1976, this came out. I was a young teenager, and I remember getting this right away and loving it. From the time I was 14 or 15 when this came out till today, I consider this one of George's greatest, greatest albums. I love it. It's fantastic. It's pop. It's got some soul. It's got a little bit of nod to Motown in it. It's got ba beautiful ballads, it's got some fast-paced pop music on it. Great album, love it, 33 and a third. My next favorite George Harrison album is the self-titled George Harrison album from 1979. Oh, man, this album, it, it, I, could, I could go on and on about all these albums. They mean so much to me and this one, especially came out when I was in high school. I was a junior or a senior in high school when this came out. And I was going through a little bit of a tough time then with a, a breakup with a girlfriend who, you know, I could give two hoots about her now, you know, God, God only knows what she's up to and who cares. But at the time, you know, when you're a teenager and you have a breakup and you, you just think things aren't going well in your life, <laughs> little did I know, you know, this album, was one of the many that brought me through that. Uh, there were several albums that helped me through that tough time I was going through during the second part of my, uh, like I say, I think junior or senior year in high school. And this one, the George Harrison album, it helped get me through it. There's so many wonderful pop rock songs on here, beautiful ballads. It's just a well put together album. 
Uh, it helped me through a tough time, and uh, I'll always pay homage to this album and thank George for putting it out because it helped me out big time. My next favorite George Harrison album could be my number one favorite of all time with George Harrison. I don't know, you know, you got All Things Must Pass is right up there, but this one, whew, Cloud Nine, oh, 1987, 1987. I'm gonna share a little story with you about this album. George hadn't put out an album since Guantrapo in 1982, and then we got word he was coming out with this. When it finally came out, produced by Jeff Lynne, the great Jeff Lynne, at the time, I don't think even there was a vinyl released. There might have been. There might have been a vinyl released. I'm not sure. I got the CD, though, because CDs were starting to get big then in 87. And I put it on, and I think it was by the song, If That's What It Takes. And I'm not sure what song. I'm... That's only the second song on the album, That's What It Takes. By the end of that song, I'm sitting in my room. I swear to God, I had tears in my eyes. This album hit me so hard as being so wonderful, such a masterpiece, such a well put together album, perfect in every way. I just, I just was so, I remember thinking in my mind with those tears in my eyes going, George is back. He's back. You know, it just hit me. I don't, did it hit any of you like that? It hit me like that when this came out. He's back. And man, it'll always be one of my favorites. And last but not least, his final studio album, Brainwashed. I know there's, you know, there's different camps on, you know, how good this is or how good it is or whatever. Still one of my favorites. Matt Street loves Brainwashed. I love it. I love it. I love it. I'm so happy George left us this gift after he passed away. I'm so grateful to Donnie, his son, and Jeff Lynn, his good buddy, for putting this album out and finishing it up and go, you know George gave them some instructions before he passed away and boy they they hit it out of the park with this one I love Brainwashed I always will I think it's a great album I won't say it's as good as Cloud Nine no I will not but for me personally I love this album some of them you know there's some material on it that you could go like this a little bit but for the most part this is a fantastic album in my book I'd like to hear your thoughts on Brainwash as well. Okay, and that's it, folks. So if you didn't see a particular George studio album, well, sorry, it's not one of my personal favorites, but I do enjoy and have every album by George. There's always something to like on every album by George, and I am so grateful, and I think we all are grateful for the gifts he has left us with his wonderful music, with the Beatles and Solo, and on this, which would have been his 77th birthday, I say, happy birthday, George. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We love you. Thank you for what you've done for all of us. Bless you all. Take care. Bye-bye.